This story happened to me back when I was 10 years old, and it is hands down the scariest thing to have happened to me in my entire life. I woke up early on Halloween morning, my heart pounding with excitement for the day ahead. It was still early, like maybe 7 or 8 a.m., and my room was still pretty dark. The wind outside made noise in the trees, creating eerie whispers that sent shivers down my spine. I stretched, ready to face the day's adventures, but as I yawned and blinked, I froze. There, just beyond my bedroom window, stood a clown. My mind raced, and for a moment, I thought it was my uncle playing a prank on me. My uncle only lived a couple blocks away, and he was known for his love of Halloween tricks, so something like this wouldn't have been too out of the ordinary. I stood up and walked over to the window, now face to face with this clown. Uncle Mike, you're really committed to the clown costume, I called. But when the clown didn't respond, and his painted face remained motionless, a chill of unease crept over me. I squinted, trying to get a better look. The clown's makeup was grotesque, with a twisted grin painted across its face in shades of red and black. Its eyes were hidden behind exaggerated blue triangles, and its hair was a mess of colorful, unruly curls. The costume was adorned with mismatched, tattered clothing, making the clown look like something out of a nightmare. My initial laughter turned into a nervous giggle. Okay, Uncle Mike, you can drop the act now. You're really giving me the creeps. But the clown remained silent, still as a statue. It was then that I noticed something even more unsettling. The clown's eyes, hidden behind those oversized triangles, weren't empty. No, they were fixed on me, watching with an intensity that sent a shiver of dread through my entire body. Panic started to rise within me as I called out for my mom and dad. But as I did so, the clown slowly raised a gloved finger to its lips, gesturing for silence. I ran out of the room, screaming for my parents, my heart hammering in my chest. My mom and dad had still been asleep, but they woke up immediately and came with me to my room. But then, just like in any good horror movie, the clown was gone. Unfortunately, they thought I was just joking, just getting really excited with Halloween. I tried to tell them over and over again how there was someone literally 10 inches away from my bedroom window, but they wouldn't believe me. Eventually they told me that they were going back to bed, and I could either go back to bed as well, or wake up and watch cartoons. Of course, I was too paranoid to just watch cartoons or do something else engrossing, because I knew that clown might reappear outside of my window at any moment. So instead, I checked my bedroom window again, then went all around the house checking the windows there. The clown wasn't in sight. For context, this was a Saturday, so I didn't really have to be anywhere, though my parents and I were planning to go trick-or-treating in the evening. We ended up staying mostly inside the house that day, just watching scary movies and me working on my homework sometimes. Every so often I'd make it a point to walk around to see all the windows, but the clown never showed up. Eventually it was like 5pm, and after we'd eaten dinner, we got our costumes on and set out to go trick-or-treating. I had actually been dreading this moment, but the presence of other trick-or-treaters around in our neighborhood made me feel just a little bit better. My parents, on the other hand, were excited about the night ahead. We knew a fair amount of people in our neighborhood, so they always ran into someone they knew. My mom had been a witch, and my dad was a goofy Frankenstein monster type thing. We were the perfect Halloween trio. As we stepped out into the crisp autumn air, I couldn't help but scan the neighborhood cautiously, half expecting to see the clown lurking nearby. But the streets were filled with other kids in costumes, and people laughing. So again, it kind of put my mind at ease. It wasn't until we turned the corner of our block that I spotted someone familiar. It was Uncle Mike but he was dressed as a pirate and chatting with other parents. My parents and I immediately went over to say hi, and Uncle Mike greeted us warmly. Eventually the topic of the clown came up, with mostly my parents teasing me. They asked if it had been him this morning, and Uncle Mike flat out denied it. He also told us that he'd been hanging out with another of his nephews this morning, which seemed to be a pretty solid alibi. I don't think my parents believed me. I think they thought it was still a joke. Eventually I decided to drop it and join my parents to continue trick-or-treating. Things were going kind of well, with me getting candy, laughing at some of the Halloween decorations, and having a good time generally as we visit our neighbors, all in the Halloween spirit. But as we crossed a street on our way to another house, I saw something that made my heart skip a beat. There, on the other side of the road, was the same clown from that morning. He seemed to be trick-or-treating alone. I stopped in my tracks and just stared at him, my stomach churning with dread. My parents took notice of this, and my dad asked me what's wrong. Eventually, I very cautiously pointed out the clown and said, that's who was outside my window this morning. Both my mom and my dad looked, but I still don't think they believed me. I think they thought I might have just been confused. 
Even though I pointed out that this person was just walking around alone, without any kids, they still thought it was just somebody getting in the Halloween spirit. Eventually, I kept walking with my parents, and the man faded from view, but I still couldn't shake the feeling that something was terribly wrong. As we continued trick-or-treating, the fear gnawed at the back of my mind, leaving me with an unsettling sense of unease. Finally, we got back to my house. I took an inventory of all the candy we'd gotten, and we actually made a pretty good haul. We had some of it and then watched another Halloween movie, I think it might have been Hocus Pocus. When it came time to sleep, my anxiety started back up again. I hadn't slept with my parents in a while, even when I had nightmares, and based on how they treated me, I kind of didn't want to go back to sleep with them. So I went to my bedroom. I triple checked the locks to make sure they were closed, and I also pulled down the blinds and closed the drapes. Now, you might be thinking that there's more to this story, like how I heard a noise at 2am and went over and it was the clown, but no. I actually slept straight through to the morning, and when I got up, I checked, and there was no clown. I ever never actually saw that clown again, and as the years go by, it's more just a curious and terrifying footnote in my history as a child. I still have no idea who that was, or why that person decided to scare me in my bed in the morning. My parents and I have since moved away from the house, and I've gone out on my own, so I'm not even in the area anymore. But every time Halloween rolls around, I can't help but wonder who that guy was and what he might have done to me.